Welcome to Creative World. In this video, we will solve Chapter 2 Learning Assessment E2.8. While solving this problem, we will be using Kirchhoff's Voltage Law. This law states that sum of supplied and dropped voltage across circuit elements in a closed loop is always equal to zero. According to this law, in a closed loop circuit, the accumulative supplied and dropped voltage will be equal to zero. Fundamental equation for the Kirchhoff's voltage law is the summation of all supplied voltage minus summation of all voltage drop will be equal to zero. Now move towards the problem. Learning assessment E2.8. Calculate voltage VAD and VEB in given below figure. This is the circuit diagram of given problem. The only information that is given in this circuit related to all elements is in the form of voltage. Voltage supplied as well as voltage dropped in this circuit are given. And it is also asked to calculate voltage on different points. No other parameter is given in this circuit. We know that the Kirchhoff's voltage law is purely based on voltage. We can use Kirchhoff's voltage law for the solution of this problem. Before we start the solution of this problem, we will make an assumption that is the direction of flow of current in this circuit. We will assume that the direction of current in this circuit is counterclockwise. It is totally our own choice. You may take the direction of current clockwise as well. Okay, now start the solution of this problem. We will be using Kirchhoff's voltage law. The basic equation of Kirchhoff's voltage law is given here. Summation of supplied voltage minus summation of voltage drop will be equal to zero. First, we will calculate the value of voltage VAD that is the voltage across these two terminals A and D terminals because we have to calculate voltage drop these two terminals so we can omit the rest of circuit this is the remaining circuit we have to calculate voltage across these two terminals here I would like to share a key concept about the representation VAD this representation is showing that VAD is the voltage across A and D terminals. A is on higher potential than D. So A will be positive and D will be negative terminal. As shown here in this figure, A is plus and D is negative minus. And the direction of current is counterclockwise. If we assume this is a closed path and we have to calculate the value of VAD by using Kirchhoff's voltage law start calculating the value of VAD using KVL. The direction of current is counterclockwise. So if current is entering from positive terminal of an element, then the voltage of that element will be taken with positive sign. And if the current is entering from negative terminal of any element, then in that case, the voltage of that element will be taken with negative sign. In this case, 6 volt will be positive because current is entering from positive terminal. 8 volt will also be positive because the current is entering from positive terminal. This 12 volt will also be positive because current is entering from positive terminal. While the, this voltage VAD will be negative because current is entering from negative terminal and leaving from positive terminal. Place these all values into Kirchhoff's voltage law equation. Now in this equation, we only have one variable that is minus VAD. Rest of all are constant. If we separate this variable from these constants by taking this variable on other hand side of equal, we can calculate the value of VAD. VAD is became positive by taking it on the other hand side of equal. Now if we add these all constants, the value of VAD will be retrieved. That is 26 volt. Before moving to the next part of this problem, I would like to share a note. Here we have calculated the voltage VAD across this circuit. If we observe, we can also calculate these voltage across this circuit as well. 
इफ सम वन वॉन्ट टू चूज दिस सर्कट टू कैलकुलेट वोल्टेज अक्रॉस दीज टू टर्मिनल्स वी ए डी देन इन डैट केस द रिजल्ट विल बी सेम ओके मूव टुवर्ड्स द नेक्स्ट पार्ट वी ई बी फॉर द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ वी ई एंड बी वी वी नीड ओनली दिस सेक्शन सम वन कैन ऑल्सो चूज दिस सेक्शन एज वेल सो आई हैव चूजन द लेफ्ट सेक्शन फॉर द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ वी ई बी अगेन हेयर वी ई बी मीन्स वोल्टेज अक्रॉस ई एंड बी टर्मिनल्स नाओ ई इज ऑन हायर पोटेंशियल सो ई विल बी मार्कड विद पॉजिटिव नोटेशन एंड बी विल बी मार्कड विद नेगेटिव नोटेशन एंड द डायरेक्शन ऑफ करंट वी आर एडी स्पेसिफाइड इन काउंटर क्लॉक वाइज नाओ स्टार्ट द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ वी ई बी स्टार्ट फ्रॉम दिस एलिमेंट the current is entering from negative terminal of this voltage source so the voltage of this voltage source will be taken with minus sign similarly current is entering from positive terminal so this 6 volt will be taken with positive sign this 8 volt will also be positive and this veb will also be positive because current is entering from positive terminal of this veb voltage enter these values into the kvl equation minus 24 volt will be considered as supply volt while other voltage with positive symbols will be considered as voltage drop in this equation we have only one variable that is veb so we can rearrange this equation to calculate the value of veb by separating constants from variable place this constant value on the other hand side of equal to calculate value of veb that is 10 volt so using kirchhoff's voltage law we have calculated the values of voltage vad that is 26 volt and veb that is 10 volt so this was learning assessment e2.8 thank you see you again in next video